this is David from uh, Tech New World and today I'm looking at some old products from Apple. I am looking at their Airport Extremes. I've got two. I've got the A1408 which was released in 2009. This is the fifth generation and I've got their Airport Extreme Base, the A1521 which was released in 2013, the sixth generation and the last in this range. They also um, come in time capsule format, which is essentially the same, but there'll also be a, a hard drive internally. Uh, you can actually use these the same way that with the uh, Apple time capsule function. Uh, you just have to plug in a, a USB hard drive into the USB port here, or uh, I assume using the Ethernet cable. So um, are these any uh, good today? Um, you've got to figure, out, figure that you've got the likes of Amazon with Eero, uh, you've got Google Nest Wi-Fi and you've got TP-Link amongst many others which are releasing these mesh Wi-Fi products which are really good. Uh, this doesn't do mesh. This is the old classic uh, extender, uh, extend your Wi-Fi. So are they any good? Can you still use it? They're pretty cheap. Just say so you can pick this one up, the A1521 for about 50 to 60 pounds on eBay and the fifth generation a1408 is going for around anywhere 15 to, to 10 pounds um, they're not expensive at all so good value you can either have one or both together let's see how you can use both together uh, mind you some of these mesh options are cheap as well Eero which is costing 250 dollars now 250 pounds but when Amazon puts it on sale you can get it for around 150 pounds or dollars but TP-Link with their M4 Deco, that's around £100, $100. And uh, the Google Wi-Fi, well, the Nest is, is a little bit more expensive, around 250 But you can, the second-hand market, the Google Wi-Fi is still good value. Anyway, let's take a look at these two products and see whether there's any life still left in them. Okay, to show you how I've set this up for this test, demonstration test, the A1521 has my internet, internet from uh, my router plugged in to the WAN slot. You can see it's got three LAN. It's going into the WAN slot. And then the A1408 is just going to be plugged into power. Uh, it's not going to be connected directly to my router. So it's just the sixth generation A1521 which is connected hardwired via Ethernet to my uh, to my router. Right let's see the setup process. First thing let's go into airport utility and as we can see here's my airport base station. Now I have to say I've actually already set up my old airport base. I don't want to reset it because I've sold it and I've sold it pre-set up so the person can just kick off and start using it. But the process was very easy. All you would do is when plugging it in, uh, you would see the airport uh, name. You would click on that, open your airport uh, utility and you would go into a menu here. And in this menu, you would basically just set up. So you would go into this option here where you'd give it a name, you would give your base station a password, you would then set up your wireless network, you'd give the wireless network a name, I've called mine Apple Wi-Fi, and you would give it two passwords. Really that simple. So I'll say it again, you, uh, you'd reset it, well, it's already reset, you'd plug it in, you would connect to it here. So mine's called Apple Wi-Fi, but it would have the original base station name, uh, which, okay, I don't know what it's called now because I've changed its name. You'd open the airport utility, you would see your base station, you would click into it, you'd give it a name, a password, that's for any future changes to the base station and to, I guess, to protect it. And then you would, in the wireless section, you would uh, 
create a wireless network, choose your level of security, and give it uh, a password. And then you would have your basic Wi-Fi setup. You'd no longer have to use the router. You could use your Apple Airport Extreme base station, as I've called mine Apple Wi-Fi, and then have access through the airport utility if you need to make changes, which by the way also works on your phone. Right, so the interesting bit is what can we do if you have two uh, airport extremes? Of course, I've got the, um, don't update. Of course, I've got the A1408. Well, what's quite nice, as you can see here, airport extreme 1BF D7, that is the uh, base station, second base station. If I click on that, look what happens here. Gathering information about your network, the airport extreme will be set up to extend the air, airport base. Yes, please. And let's call it, let's call it not David, let's call it airport extender. Extend. Okay, next. It's changed its name. Looking for the Apple Wi Fi. This is really easy. Um, again, everything's been done for you. All I've done is set up the airport base, which was easy. Again, password create a Wi-Fi network, give it a password again. Literally, I've just reset the airport extreme. I've plugged it in, and you, I guess you could plug it in anywhere uh, in your house. And the airport utility recognizes that it's been plugged in. And uh, that's it, does everything for you. So let's click done. And there you go. So, with two relatively cheap items, the Airport Extreme, 50 to 60 pounds on eBay, I guess it's the same in dollars, and the Airport Extender, literally, uh, the, sorry, I've named it Airport Extender, the Airport Extreme version, uh, fifth generation, the one before, very cheap. You can actually create a nice wireless network uh, in your house. I think that's uh, that's pretty good. So the proof is in the pudding. As you can see here, I'm attached to Apple Wi-Fi. That's on basically been delivered from my uh, A1521. Let's look at a website here in the UK, which I do every day, the BBC website. That's quick, no problem there. Have we got any video that I can see? Classic Apprentice Gaff leaves contestants squirming. The Apprentice, can we see this? Ah, oh, the octopus in Malta. What a mess. What a complete and utter mess. Do we think we're right with the octopus? Very stretchy. So, one of the things that are... So after an octopus with a... Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching The Apprentice. That's always good comedy. But uh, the point of this is to show that we've got fast internet being delivered by a pretty old Apple Airport Extreme, which uh, Apple's dropped the product. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. Really, really pleased. And uh, you can confidently still use this to deliver Wi-Fi. I be it you'll have slightly less control of your Wi-Fi network. As I said, you can't set limitations to who uses it. Uh, I think you can still, you actually can still create a guest network, but I've had a little bit of difficulty trying to do that. But, um, you know, for some, simplicity and less options is a good thing. I took some quick notes, which I'm just going to run by. Uh, the A1521 6th Gen, some negative things. There's no web management interface. That's true. So when you look at Google Mesh, when you look at these new products, you get really fancy um, phone apps, 
which allow you to control uh, aspects of your network, i.e. You know, give limitation to children, how much time they use it, you can see the speed, you can give priority to devices, you can see how many devices are attached. You don't get that in the uh, airport utility. It really is simple. Now, simple could be good for a lot of people. That setup was very easy. So some look at some other things. So the, the, the important thing with the A1521, which came out in 2013, was that it supported 802.11ac, which uh, was an upgrade over the 802.11anb. So that, that's good. And that's why you'd probably make the sixth generation, A1521, your, the one which is connected to your router. It's got bigger antenna as well. So my uh, conclusion is that if you have an old Airport Extreme, either the A1521 6th Gen or the older uh, 5th Gen A1408, still pretty useful. Um, you have to be obviously an Apple user, but uh, you know if, uh, if you need to set up a, a secondary Wi-Fi network, because let's say you're working from home, everyone's working from home now because of COVID, that could be useful, uh, would be separate from your home network. If you need to set up a, a Wi-Fi network, let's say to an elderly parent or a secondary home, these will uh, do the job. And what's nice is, in my example, I've used two airport extremes to effectively, well, one extend the other. And that was really easy to do. The airport uh, utility was uh, pretty straightforward so i would say there's still life left in these products thank you uh thank you for watching bye